Okay, so in 6a there's this list and you just learn it. So for example, that's something in the list that's probably pretty well known. A thing that's not so well known is that sec x tan x is not some, some complicated thing from 6d or 6e. It's just plain old sec x. Okay, so when you get an actual concrete question, in time you'll learn to do these extremely fast. What I'm going to do here is play it safe. I'm going to make each and every one of those. I'm going to make three of these left hand sides appear literally exactly as they are there. And when I've got them, I'm going to transfer to the right hand side and I'll be done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is distribution. I'm going to write three separate integral signs. I'm now going to do a Mathemosis. Um, there and there. And in this third one, I'm going to do a bit of getting ready. Okay. Um, now, each and every one of those things is in the list there. Okay, what do we see first? I see an instance of number the left hand side of number four. I see an instance of the left hand side of number three. And I see an instance of the left hand side of number one with the role of n being played by half. So, being given special permission to write the plus c once, and copying down the two, the plus three, and the minus, I just transfer exactly to the right hand side. So, when there's a cos x there, it becomes a sine x. When there's a 1 over x, it becomes ln modulus of x. And when there's an x to the power of half, there becomes x to the power of half plus 1 um, all over half plus 1. And, um, and then you tidy that up and that's your answer. Okay, in fact, it already is kind of tidy. One and a half is three over two, so one over three over two is two and a third. Mm -hmm. There we go, and that's done. Okay, so that's six A. The six B is the same. It's the same list, except that now you're able to handle all the, all the list has these things in brackets in. Okay, um, it doesn't make that much difference. Um, it's just that there there will always be a one over A in front of the answer. Okay, you cool with that? You sure? So you just follow the format on the right hand side? Yeah, you just find instances of the left mm -hmm. and transfer to the right. So let's okay. do an example of that. So just from the exercise. Actually, I'll just make one up. Okay, now I'm telling you that I've given you one of those. Mm -hmm. Now, which of those is the closest fit to what I've given you? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll just make this set to the camera. Okay, so which of those looks like I've just given it to you? Number 12. Number 12? Did you say that because it's got a fraction in it? Yep. Okay, well now make it fit. If it's going to be number 12, you have to tell me what's playing the role of what? Um, a is 2 is playing the role of A, B is... Yeah, did that? B is playing the role of 1, yeah. 1 is playing the role of B? Yeah. Does it exactly match then? Well. The squared, yeah, that ruins it. Okay. That means it's not number 12. Okay? So we've ruled out number 12. What else could it be? Number 10. Yeah, it could be number 10. What's playing the role of A? 2. What's playing the role of B? 1. What's playing the role of N? 
Minus two. Negative two, so we just switched to the right hand side. Okay. Okay. Now remember, if there had been an inconvenient number there, just, just move it out by mathematics. Yeah? In fact, let's do that example. So now we just write out the right. So 1 over 2, 2x plus 1, negative 2 plus 1, all over negative 2 plus 1, plus c, and then you tidy that up. Okay?